<coughs> um, I'm going to show you um, a quick little video on some really cool, on a really cool feature in Cubase, and that's um, key commands and key command macros. Um, I won't spend too much time on this because it's really self-explanatory. People get freaked out by the word macro for some reason. Um, don't know why, but um, anyway, it's really easy to set up. Um, all you need to do is go to File, and select Key Commands. Now, there you go. There's loads and loads of folders with pretty much every key command. Um, well, there is every key command that exists in Cubase is there. So, for instance, if you just, if you come to this little section here and just hit Space tells you what it does. Transport, start, stop, which is correct. If you hit Control S, file, save, that's correct. So, um, <coughs> there's loads of stuff in here that you can do. Now, um, to create your own um, key command, so let's say we wanted to, um, I don't know, what can, what, what, what can I think of? Um, Uh, let's go, if you're looking for something, you just type it in here, you can just type partially in here as well, and just use this, it'll go and find, uh, mm, well, it'll find anything with fold in it, if that's not what you're looking for, hit the next one, it'll go and find all the different folds, create folder, okay, at the moment that's got control, alt and F, which is kind of cool, let's see if we can find one that hasn't got, um, okay, there's one that hasn't got a key command, so um, say we w you just want to empty the trash. Um, so E, oh, can't do that. Edit, left selection, side cursor. So we can't do that. Well, you, you could, you could still use it, but then you would overwrite that one. So it's not a good idea. Empty trash, what can we use? What about Control E, T? Control plus E plus that. It's not going to let us do that either. Um, Control, Alt, E. There you go. Control, Alt, and E isn't assigned to anything. So if I go Assign and hit OK, now if I hit Control, Alt, and E, warning, continuing with Erase Files. Erase. Basically what that done was, it just erased um, everything. If there was anything in the chat, right, I'll show you. But if we go um, select these and just drag them, uh, get rid of them, uh, do, 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 do. Just pull that over there. Select that. Uh, delete. In fact, we'll keep that one in there, and we'll just move that one into there. Okay, so now I've got something in the trash. Um, so if I go Control Alt and E. Do you want to erase the files from a hard disk or only remove clips from the pool? I don't want to remove, basically that will erase them completely from my hard drive. So I don't want to do that, I just want to remove them from the pool. That's cool. That will still be on my hard drive and I can still bring that back in. Okay, so that's how you create um, <coughs> a key command. Now, um, so that was kind of cool, I guess. Um, uh, and of course, you can create your own key commands. We, you can go really crazy if you want, go ahead and hit clear all and start all your own key commands completely from scratch. I think you're mental if you do that, but um, it's up to you. Um, again, if I wanted to delete that now, um, I just select that and go to erase and it'll remove, it's removed that, um, that key command for me. Um, you can save your own presets in here if you'd like to do your, your a whole host of um, key commands. Um, which is actually really good if you've got a lot of specialised key commands. Um, uh, save them so that if you go to someone else's, um, if you're using someone else's studio or setup, you can import your own key commands and uh, make your life um, a whole lot easier. You can save them wherever you like. Um, okay, the next one's macros. Now, people get freaked out by the word macro for some reason. Um, it's very odd. Um, it basically just means a tool that um, you can combine multiple um, processes into one. So, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, for this, I'm going to make um, my play indicator go back to the beginning of the, the whole track um, and play straight away. 
instead of having to hit one and then space. So what we need to do for that is, is we show macros. So here's macros here. So what is it we want to do? The first thing we want to do is make the play indicator go to the beginning of the track or to, to number one. So what normally does that? I believe if you push one on your um, your keyboard, your uh, kind of numeric pad, you'll see here pad one, transport to left locator. So that's what we want to do. So if I go to left, oh, sorry. Before you do any of that, first thing you do is new macro. And let's say, go to start and play. Um, so um, we need to go to left locator, to left locator. Let's see if that finds what we're looking for. To left locator, pad one, yeah, that's what we want. So we select it and we hit add command. You then see that add command has been added to this macro, okay? So that's one command. So that's it, we've got it going back to the left locator. What do we want to do next? Um, if it goes back to the left locator from really far on the track, we want the, um, the we want to be able to follow it back to the left. We don't say we or say we're on bar a hundred, and we tell it to go back to the beginning and press play. We want Cubase to move back to one as well, so we can see where it's playing. So um, the the command that normally would do that is F for follow, or in this case, it's, it calls it auto scroll, but I call it follow for F, and it's what it what it kind of says. It does actually say auto scroll up there, but F follow whatever. Um, so if we go auto scroll here, auto scroll F, that's the one we want. So we add command. So what we've now got is um, it goes all the way back to the beginning of the track. Cubase follows it, auto scrolls with it as well. And what's last? Well, I guess play, isn't it? Um, so play. We need to find it. what it's actually called start stop <coughs> start stop space bar yeah that's the one we want add command so now what we've got is we've got um, it going back to <coughs> the left locator everything auto scrolls in fact, see, that's just going back to the left locator, so we made a bit of a mess there, didn't we? Because if we wanted to go back to all the way back to the beginning, that's not the right command. So we need to delete that command, come back to here, and you will find that the small... Um, well, I guess it's, well, that there, comma, the one that's next to your full stop, it's actually the, the sign, or the, um, the way I look at it, is the... Um, <coughs> The sign that says smaller than is kind of like a diamond sign like this, like that. Smaller than is what that means. But it shows up there as um, the um, that small cursor, probably because you need to do shift. and So if I do shift in that, there, it's that's, but that's not the right thing. But if I just push that, transport return to zero is what we really wanted. Okay, return to zero. So we need to, we want that one. So we add that command. So we've now got these here. So we've got it going back to zero. Cubase scrolling with it and then it playing. Excellent. So now what we need to do is find the macro. So if we type go to start, it should find it for us. And you will see there is actually a folder called macros. And then go to start and play. Okay, now this is where we now assign um, a shortcut for this. Now, I'm going to use, let's have a look, what could we use here? Go to start and play. So, control S and P. No, nope, you can't do that. Um, you can't, um, it, won't, it won't let you add that kind of, so if we go control, alt and S. No, nope, that's no good. Control, alt and P. There we go, Control alt and p So, we've got one, it's not assigned to anything, so we can use it, Control alt and p If we go Assign, so Control alt and p is now assigned to our macro, Go to Start and Play, and Go to Start and Play will go back to zero, it will start, 
and it will auto scroll. So if I hit OK, now let me just show you this in action. <coughs> now if I if I take this up here and go there, so what was it? It was Control Alt and P. Right, the reason that didn't work is because that was off. That's got to be on for it to work. But that should have actually happened. Or was it because it was... Let's have a look and see what's going on here. Ah, okay, I see what's happening. <coughs> okay, if that's off, which, may, yeah, it makes perfect sense, because we've told the auto scroll to turn on, if we do that, when it's on, it turns it off. So if it's off and you're here, Control, Alt and P will take you back to the beginning. Press play. That's it. Again, that was just a quick one. You can do macros for whatever you like. You can get them as complicated or as, well, I guess your macros will be the complicated ones. Your key commands will be the non-complicated ones. But have some fun with it. They can be really useful and they can make your life a whole lot easier and they can make your production really quick. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Speak to you soon.